Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. And baby, that's what we are here to do. Don't go out of your way to dislike anybody that we talk about in these videos. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Now, baby, let's check in with the Jacksons of Atlanta, right? Now, let me just say this. If y'all ain't caught up, I hope y'all is because they announced a divorce, right? They announced a divorce. They both make statements on Instagram. Both statements had a lot of in and out things that we could pick apart and say what is really going on so we all sit back and say is this a skit is it a play and then we hope that it's not true and we hope that it's not a skit because if it's true then oh my goodness this girl is going to be left with six kids under six and justin is going to go out here and live his life and he's going to make videos and skits and pretend to be the next tyler perry that's what we think right then we're thinking well if it's a skit oh my goodness who would do this who would pull this this pastor okay and i have to say this justin is keep on saying he's a pastor and he's this and that i don't know if he did youth ministries or he set in as a deacon or whatever but i'm gonna need to see some paperwork that he is a certified okay pastor that he done took some courses that he has ran a church that he has done something because baby using this pastor stuff and then getting out here with all of this is blasphemy honey it is crazy it is just whack whack now the whole time that all this has been going on mahogany has been quiet as a church mouse this man has came out and he said if y'all knew the whole truth i'll shut the internet down like cat williams he done got out here and made a whole video on i cheated on my wife and then we are sitting here all going off on him but honey let me tell y'all something let me tell y'all where the fake funkiness come in at okay over on jackson's of atlanta all right they go and they share in the community post the whole video that Justin did I cheated on my wife now hold up wait a minute hold up wait a minute at first I felt a little sorry but at this point not only do I but I'm believing that the subscribers believe that this is all a hoax this is all a skit and this is all a play why would you on your family channel okay that you have your children on be advertising a video that your husband made mahogany and made you look like a fool and made y'all marriage like a fool why are you advertising that on a channel that you have advertisers for your family and for your kids baby i'm not understanding and right along with me not understanding the subscribers are starting to get angry people are starting to comment and honey they can't keep up with erasing a lot of the comments so let's go through a few baby i don't know who this is but he <laughs> he's sweeter than a can of cinnamon rolls when I seen that, I had to screenshot it because I'm going to tell you, sitting up there, the way he was sipping that wine with his pinky up and the way he was talking and the way he was explaining things, honey, I was thinking the same thing. Also, I was thinking, you out here saying you uh, a pastor and you're, oh, my marriage has ran the course and it this and this and this. Well, it sure ain't ran the YouTube course. You still trying to make money off of it now, ain't There are people that are saying, you know, we know you do skits. Stop speaking this stuff in the air because it can turn into your reality. There's also people saying what kind of pastor cheats, sits there, drink alcohol, and pose on YouTube. And then there is also another person, and y'all know I like to paraphrase, right? That is down here reading old Justin for Phil, saying after six children under six, you're exhausted. The marriage has ran its course. I mean, exactly. What work did you do? What, what did you do? other than get her pregnant, film it, and she put her body on the line, right? So, and they're saying, we're going to unsubscribe. This is crazy. Why are you guys doing this? Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I did go back and do some research and look at some of the Jacksons of Atlanta's old videos. This is not the first, this is not the second, but this is the third time that they got out here and told the audience that they were getting a divorce, right? The very first time that they said they were getting a divorce was when they were about uh, four kids in. They were saying that the children were coming between the marriage and it was too stressful. But then guess what? Mahogany ended up pregnant and they were back together. Then they said they were getting a divorce again and it was a clickbait and they were also blaming it on the children and life was lifing and it was overwhelming them and it didn't happen. But what happened? The kids kept coming. So at this point, I'm going to tell y'all, I don't feel sorry anymore for any parties on this uh shenanigans this fiasco either way that it goes like i said the loser of the situation is mahogany because she has to deal with a man who thinks that he's tyler perry acts and looks like tyler perry aka medea 
And then he's on screen kissing other women, rubbing on other women and being inappropriate. He's also making these videos that make you look like a numb nut. So at this point, I do not feel sorry. I'm just like, you know who should feel sorry? All the supporters who uh, did uh, meals to go for y'all, who was supporting y'all, who was watching y'all, who was sending y'all baby shower gifts, baby registry, housewarming gifts. They should be the ones that we feel bad for. And heck, I halfway don't feel sorry for them. If they were foolish enough to fall for it and keep on going with the okie doke and buying y'all stuff and investing in y'all, knowing that every second that y'all get on here and every part of your life is a lie, then, hey, they fell for it. You got them. Y'all win. But I'm going to tell you, that makes a lot of your content fake and phony out here smiling in each other's face saying how in love y'all is making shorts talking about how your husband serves you and girl he out here serving the congregation uh-huh past the player whatever you want to call him baby i don't know what else to say so i'm gonna see y'all down in the comments